Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with part two of my 10 cards one kit using the Spellbinders January 2019 card kit. If you missed the first five cards, you can check those out on the video that I posted yesterday. So jumping here into card number six, I've taken this pink chevron pattern paper and trimmed that down to four by five and a quarter. I've added some of that double-sided tape around the outside edges. I'm gonna place that here on the top of my card base. I've also grabbed an extra piece of cardstock and I've trimmed that down to about a half an inch. This is Paper Tray Ink Smoky Shadow. And what I'm doing here is I want to continue that gray line underneath the keys of that typewriter sticker. So I'm just gonna place that here across the bottom and I'll trim off the excess. And then I'm going to take my sticker and I'm going to position that so that the typewriter keys are in line with this cardstock piece. And then I'll take the remaining three heart stickers and place those in a triangle pattern on the front of my card base. For the inside, I've grabbed a Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp on that the sentiment, I adore you using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'll again go ahead and add that double-sided tape around the outside edges. Peel away the backing here and then I'll place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number six. So here for card number seven, I've taken a bunch of this ephemera and laid that out on the front of my card base, but I wanted to add a lot more dimension to this. So I'm gonna start at the back, adding some pop dots in, and I'm just gonna layer these on the card in sort of a waterfall effect. So starting here with the largest heart, I'll place two pop dots at the top and then add a little bit of art glitter glue towards the bottom just to make sure it stays nice and stuck on the front of my card base. And then I'm going to continue with that for the other three hearts. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this love sentiment here. So I'm gonna pop up around the top edge there. And then again, I'll add some glue towards the bottom. And then finally, for these little love birds, I'm gonna pop these up completely so that they're one nice even layer. So I was really able to put a lot of dimension into this card, but it's still really at its highest point, only one layer of pop dots thick, so it'll still fit really nicely into a regular envelope. Here for the inside, I'm again stamping on a Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna go with the sentiment, I think I love you a little bit more each day. And I'm stamping that out here with Lawn Fawn Minty Fresh Ink. I'll again go ahead and add some double-sided tape on the back of that panel and place that on the inside of my card base. And 
that will complete card number seven. Here for card number eight, I'm gonna go back to that typewriter die cut. So I've grabbed a couple of the sheets of paper that I die cut out and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment hugs on one and then the sentiment kisses on the other. And then I've also taken a third one of these papers and I've used the XOXO die to cut that sentiment out. Here I'm going to go ahead and back that with some smoky shadow cardstock. I'll also use that to back the keyboard section of the typewriter I have up there. And the typewriter is cut from Stormy Sea. And then I'll go ahead and place this inside and I'll stick that down with a little strip of double-sided tape along the bottom of that paper. I grabbed this colorful polka dot paper from the pattern paper pack and trimmed that down to four by five and a quarter. I've again added some double-sided tape to that and I'm gonna place it here on the front of my card B. And then I fooled around with the placement of these papers quite a bit. Um, once I had everything sort of laid out, I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more of a pop of pink to play off of that pattern paper. So I've trimmed out again that XOXO sentiment, and this time I'm using Paper Tray Ink Hibiscus Burst. I'm just gonna inlay those into the area that I had die cut out of that paper. And now I'll go ahead and place everything down on my card front. And I'm just gonna use uh, my art glitter glue to place down those two back papers. And then I'll again pop up my typewriter uh, using some pop dots. For the inside, I'm again on a Nina panel trim to four by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment, it's always been you. I'm gonna use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink for this. I've added some double-sided tape to the back of that, and I'll go ahead and place that panel on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number eight. So here for card number nine, I've laid out a little bit of a ephemera collage there, but I wanted to tone down that background paper a little bit and also give the idea of clouds in the sky since I've got a hot air balloon there. So I've grabbed some white acrylic paint from my stash and I'm just gonna take my finger and rub that over top of the background pattern paper, just in some patches, not, not all over the whole thing. I wanna be able to see through this, which is why I'm using my fingers and not a brush. That way I can keep it nice and light and just kind of smudge it in the areas that I want it to be in. So once I'm happy with all of that, I'm gonna again place down my ephemera pieces 
And for that hot air balloon, um, I'm gonna start in the back there as usual and layer up. So I'm gonna add just a straight art glitter glue and I'll put that directly on the background paper. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing with these hearts. I'm just gonna pop up the top portion of it and I'll use a little bit of art glitter glue towards that bottom point. And then finally for this sentiment, I'm gonna pop the entire thing up so it'll all be one layer. Finally, I've taken these die cut hearts and these are cut from Paper Tray Ink, Aqua Mist, and Tropical Teal. Just going to lay those out and then place those directly on the card base with my art glitter glue. For the inside, I'm again on my Nina panel, trimmed to 4 by 5 and a quarter. And I went with the sentiment, love is all you need, and I stamped that out using Stampin' Up's Island Indigo. I'll again add some double-sided tape to that and place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number nine. Here for card number 10, I'm gonna finish these up with one more typewriter card. I just loved this typewriter die cut. I have grabbed one of those uh, die cut sheets of paper and then I also die cut the sentiment love out of it. I grabbed a piece of blue cardstock from my stash. I'm not sure what color this is. I was trying to match the arrow in that hardened arrow piece of ephemera as best as I could. Um, so I glued that on the back there and then I've also backed this typewriter again with that smoky shadow. And that typewriter is cut out of MFT's Tickled Pink. I'm going to place that here, uh, that paper behind the typewriter at an angle. And then for something a little different, I thought I would have these leaves coming out from the back of the typewriter instead of sort of from underneath. So I messed around with this for quite a bit. I've edited a lot of this out, but what I ended up doing was taking these leaves and tucking them behind the typewriter there. And then I did pull a couple of the leaves forward in front of that um, typed sheet. I added some art glitter glue behind that and I'm going to place that directly down on top of the card base. And then I'll use the last little bit of those pop dots to go ahead and pop up this hardened arrow. And I'll place that down there on top of the keyboard. For the inside, I'm again on my Nina panel. I've trimmed this down to four by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna stamp out that sentiment. Everything is better with you by my side. Again, using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I've added some double-sided tape to the back of that and I'll go ahead and place that here on the inside of my card base. Now you'll see here in a minute as I place this down, I ran my fingers over that sentiment and smudged it a bit. I did actually take my heat gun to this, but I didn't 
have it on there long enough, obviously, because it's smeared. So I've grabbed my mono sand eraser, and because this was a light smear, I was able to save this panel. It doesn't always work, and you do have to be careful with this eraser so that you don't um, scratch a hole in your paper. But if you use it lightly, you're usually able to sand off that top layer, and you can get rid of that little dark smudge. And that will complete card number 10. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.